Laura says, when promoting an affiliate offer from a JV opportunity, how do you set yourself up to be to best be able to follow up with people? Do you create a landing page, use a messenger bot? I'm looking for ways to capture information for those who show interest in the offer so I can follow up with them alongside the individual following up. I'm wondering best practices for this and options that are not gonna require me to reinvent the wheel every time I wanna promote somebody else's offer that would horizontally benefit my brand or agency. So Laura, I think with this, it really depends on the size of the launch, right? Like if you're doing an Amy Porterfield launch, it's a $2,000 product um, and you, you know, it's gonna be worth it for you to treat this as you would like your own launch and to do all the things and, and it would and it would require you sort of um, you could have the same framework but you would have to create new landing pages new Facebook pop-up group um, that sort of thing but if it's just um, little things that pop up here and there I mean I think that um, I think the best way to do this is to add your own so that you could capture their email address is for you of the people who are interested is for you to give your own little freebie that somehow relates to the launch to get them into some sort of little funnel like every time um, you can do a pop-up group they're so easy to do and um, really don't require a lot of effort on your part it's just you get to parallel whatever that person is teaching in their free training series or whatever, like sort of like you did with CEO. I think you did that really, really well. You ran watch parties and all that sort of stuff of our video together. Um, and a landing page with a bot is a great idea because, you know, once you know they're interested and they get on that landing page, you know how easy it is to just create a sequence um, and, and just, and, and it, you know, so did you have any other ideas? I mean, is that, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. So, um, for the larger ones, like when, when you and I have done it together or whatever, then I would have the landing page with the bot. I would capture them in the bot and then nurture them and do the watch parties and stuff. But I was thinking, um, more in terms of like, because of my situation for the next like six months, I wanted to focus on like the evergreen type offers. So like I have some um, parallel uh, mentors of mine that I would be able to like, I don't teach Pinterest ads, but I manage them, right? So I was going to do like um, a landing page or something to parallel to her course, which is an evergreen thing. And so that's kind of where I get stuck because there's not those launches and there's not those like watch parties and things to do. Like how to be able to keep it the momentum going so that when I do get to January 8th <laughs> and I start working again, then we'll be good for everybody who doesn't know. And this isn't a private group. Um, I just recently found out I was pregnant. Oh. And so my whole business is That's shifting. Right. Yeah. Um, and so I'm trying to shift to make sure that I set myself up to, to still bring in that income, but without having to do the like face-to-face -face management type stuff um, for the next like four or five months. Well, I mean, I think it's just as easy as setting up some um, nurture sequences, um, you know, building those evergreen offers into your existing content because you're going to need to reference, you know, Facebook ads and the, I mean, Pinterest ads, the importance of Pinterest ads, the results of Pinterest ads, the, you know, the fact that Pinterest ads are the best kept secret, you know, in the world of paid advertising and, you know, look at this chart, like there's loads of content. And so if you just sporadically or, I mean, but on a schedule, put that as your, in your content calendar, um, just like any other sequence, when they opt in, they're just going to, you're going to do your, do the sales sequence for that. And it's going to point to their evergreen product. And then I think you can also have it listed on your work with Laura or your products page, you know, have it listed there. Um, and I think that's okay. Does it bother or would it bother people to have like my nurture sequence going, whether it's bot or email at the same time as like this individual is probably going to have something going? So they're going to opt in for some of their freebies and then she's going to be, or he or she 
will be sending out stuff because they've opted in for whatever is on that landing page. Yes, yeah, um, so there's going to be two different ways. Like I can do my own nurture straight to her program or this other individual that I was going to do as well, um, straight to their program. But then they also both have like three or five day challenges. And so I was going to talk about getting them into those um, because I've gone through them before and then I can lend like helping hands throughout those days of like, Hey, this is something that was an epiphany for me kind of deal. Yes. Okay. So that, that's a great idea. So okay. you could just have it so that um, the automated sequence that kicks in and you know that they're going to be having a challenge, take them to a pop-up group and you know, how hard is that going to be? You're just going to, you can just, it's going to, you're going to have people come in and ask certain questions. You can, I mean, unless you just don't want to do a pop-up group. I don't, uh, I've not done a pop-up group. I've always just funneled them into my main group. And then I've done like the pop-up promotion. So like when you and I did it, it was just in my main group. So that way if people quote unquote missed out, I had always provided the link for them to like get involved as like a um, I don't know, like you're missing out kind of a thing to try to get more people into it. I mean, well, then if you did it in your main group, you could have a unit section. Um, if you have units in there, do you have units? I do, but they disappeared with the new changes. So I yeah, don't know sometimes, that's... sometimes they do disappear, like okay. times come and go. Okay. Uh, or you could send them to just a post, right? Like, so it's a meme that talks oh, yeah. about like Shelly's challenge. And so in, in those, in those emails, you just would direct them to that post where they can comment with any questions, just something real simple like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would be awesome. Um, and, and, and I would study, I would study the, the sales sequence that you're, that they're sending out. And if you do a sequence, it would just complement that. Um, maybe you just do two emails, like, because they're going to pay maybe more attention to you than they are to that person. Yeah. You know, and, and you could, it could be something as you copy and paste one of their best emails, send it out to your list and just say, not sure if you saw this one, but this is, you know, this is great. You know, pay, make sure you pay attention to this one. Yeah. Okay. That'd be awesome. Awesome. Thank you.